Hi, this is Chris Warner of ECN Magazine and ECNMag.com. I'm here at uh, Sensors Expo, uh, co-located with uh, ESC Chicago. And I'm here with Bill Hutchings of Microchip's uh, microcontroller division. And uh, we're here to talk about some of their high-performance DSCs and PIC24 MCUs. So uh, take it away, Bill. Ah, thanks. Uh, we're announcing today uh, a new set of um, devices and uh, expanding our portfolio um, to a higher performance range, so basically going from the existing 40 MIPS range to 60 MIPS. Um, they come in both uh, digital signal controllers, so this is part DSP, part market controller, and uh, a PIC24E, um, which is a straight microcontroller. Um, so they're called the DSPIC33E and the PIC24E. Um, they have a few uh, new capabilities for our 16-bit portfolio, the 60 MIPS. Um, they also come in uh, larger uh, packages. So they come in 144-pin packages um, to give you a lot more I.O., a lot more control, a lot more peripherals. So they have like up to 32 ADC channels, uh, 14 PWMs, uh, two uh, uh, CAN modules uh, for communications, and also an integrated uh, USB, uh, USB on-the-go host and device. And that 144 pins is a first for microchip. Yes, it is. Um, um, you know, it's extending out the portfolio. Um, coupled with that, um, they also uh, have up to 512K of flash. Um, mm -hmm. And they also have what we call auxiliary flash. There's 24K bytes of auxiliary flash. So while the MCU or DSPIC is normally operating doing its, its control functionality, it also can be storing off parameters real time so you don't have to stall or slow down the device. So it basically gives you capability of full EEPROM emulation um, in the unit. Uh, it also comes with uh, 52K of RAM, um, 4K of dual port, um, so you can do DMA access as a not stall. Um, so it's a good, very high performance. Um, you know, really kind of uh, at the 32-bit level. Um, and so it's a, it's a really uh, a nice set of devices. And I, I would imagine with all these capabilities, it would go, uh, they would be applicable to a wide range uh, of applications. Yeah, it, uh, it both supports uh, motor control applications. So it can do uh, two, th two three-phase motors. Um, so like it could do a compressor and a fan variable speed. Um, so it's got a motor control contingent. Um, and then it's got a more uh, general purpose. Um, so it fully integrates in with our graphics display technology, uh, our multimedia expansion board. So you can do graphical displays. You can do M-Touch, so uh, capacitive touch human interfaces. Um, you can do things like MP3 decode. Um, so you can uh, have very good audio. Um, and it also can do things like uh, acoustic echo cancellation. So this is used for like hands-free car kits. Um, it'll do the, the, the noise cancellation and the echo cancellation for that. Uh, so it's audio applications, graphics, motor control, and then, uh, you know, just a whole bunch of in general embedded control with its capabilities. And how does the user get started? Uh, well, the best way to get started is one with one of our starter kits. Right. So for $65 suggested retail, um, you can get a complete unit that uh, has the debugger on it, um, it has the uh, processor on it, um, and it also can integrate in with those other uh, boards like the MEB. Um, and then you can use our MP Lab development environment that supports our 8, 16, and 32-bit products. Um, uh, that's free, um, along with the, there's a free version of the C compiler. Um, so really, you can start evaluating and doing everything that you want to do development uh, for that one low price. And how about uh, provisions for multimedia within the starter kit? Uh, like I said, it'll interface into the multimedia expansion board. Um, so that will give you graphics display. Um, that expansion board also uh, gives you uh, an audio codec. So you can do MP3 uh, of voice applications. Um, and it also has integrated Wi-Fi with one of our Wi-Fi chips. Uh, so you can do Wi-Fi communications with it also. And where would I go for more information? Uh, the best place is to go to microchip.com slash 16-bit, uh, get into our 16-bit landing zone, and it's got full documentation, you know, software libraries, you know, uh, tools, everything that you need to know about the products there. Sounds good, Bill. So thanks for your time. I appreciate it. This is Chris Warner, again from ESC Chicago, co-located with Sensors Expo, and uh, I'll see you at ecnmag.com. Thanks a lot.